Today we are doing a super fun activity, water gun tie-dye. So I know tie-dye is super popular right now, so I thought that would be a fun family activity, just something to get us outside and doing something besides watching TV and just have a fun tie-dye day. I have Layla Jane here and Colin and my niece Maya's here and we're gonna have some fun today. So we're doing three different tie-dye activities. First one, we are doing a water gun tie-dye fight. And then we're going to test out this new technique and trying to make a heart tie-dye. I know, I'm kind of excited about that one. And then last, we're gonna be tie-dyeing a shirt using ice cubes. Have you ever heard of that? No. Yes. That one's I'm kind of excited about. I can't wait to see how that turns out. But first, we're gonna do the water gun tie-dye fight. So we all need to get in some white shirts and get ready. Well, while they finish their popsicles, I'll go ahead and get the paint all mixed up. So I actually just went and bought some acrylic paint. I was gonna do fabric paint, but I've read that this comes off your skin a lot more easily. So yes, acrylic paint I hear is better. We're gonna test it out and I'll let you know. And I'm just gonna mix one tablespoon with about eight ounces of water and then start filling up the water guns with it. So I don't know how this will work, but I was thinking they have like, Colin and Maya have like blue and purple guns and we have red and yellow and we spray each other because we're gonna be filming a Tic Tac Toy Cousins video in a few weeks where we're like competing against each other, families. So I thought these could be our team shirts. You guys be red, yellow, we be blue and purple. So I'm gonna see if this works. We might end up just all spraying each other and it won't work, but we're gonna try. And if you haven't already, go down in the description below and subscribe to Tic Tac Toy Cousins because it's gonna be a really fun video and you wanna make sure you see it. Everyone choose your gun. Oh, Layla, you want that one? I'm that, daddy. Yeah, that, that's a good one for daddy. <laughs> Do you want the big one, Colin? it's gonna look kind of like that? Yes. You made that one, didn't you? Yes, I made this one at camp. Oh, it's so pretty, I love the colors. Thank you. Well, let's see what ours turn out like. Yes. I'm ready, let's do this. Now, I might need to add more paint. I've never done this before, so let's see if I have enough to actually show up on the shirts. If not, we'll just add some more. Is it cold? Hey, I wanna see your back. I wanna see if the color showed up. I got you. Oh, good, it showed up, yes! So my idea of having different teams and separate colors out the door. We're all just spraying everyone now. <laughs> this actually feels so good and so hot right now. Ah, everyone's coming after me. No mercy. Me. They're all coming after me. What is it? My shoe. My shoe. You're, oh, what happened to your shoe? Hang on, man down. Man down. We have a shoe issue. Go, Lena Jane, go. Okay, this has become less a battle, now it's just becoming, let's make some cool shirts. <laughs> what are you doing, Colin? Colin is taking this a little seriously. <laughs> we got it figured out. Let's go, Layla, let's go. We're pretty much out of our water now. Let's check everyone's shirt. Like, that like, looks get him, get him, awesome. Get him, get him, get him. Look at Layla's. Yours turned out cool. Ooh, Brian, yours is looking really good. I like the specs. I don't mean to be biased, but I think mine looks the coolest. I think they did a good job. And what I highly recommend, is set it on a spray mode on these. You can do like different modes as Maya was saying and the one that sprays gives you like the cool like speckles. This is such a fun summer family activity. I highly recommend it with your family and you can keep going too. Have multiple shirts or just keep getting the same one wet. We could keep going, refill these up some more but we have some more fun tie-dye things to test out. What is this for? That we are actually doing right now. Oh yay. 
now that we are changed, but still have some paint in our hair, that's okay, we're gonna move on to our tie-dye activity two. And we're gonna be testing out a technique I saw where you can make a heart-shaped tie-dye shirt. So that should be fun if it works out. <laughs> She's dancing in the elevator. <laughs> <laughs> She's keeping you entertained. Now I'm gonna go down the elevator. Bye bye, my little Jane. See you tomorrow. Whoa, now fold your shirt over lengthwise. Oh, and I already got some dye on it accidentally because somebody took the dye out early. Here. Oh no! Okay, and Layla just poured some more dye on. Well, that part will be the blue part. Oh goodness. You're gonna draw a heart, or half a heart, I should say. So you can see I have half a heart there. Okay, so there you can see half my heart. And now I'm gonna start just kind of ribboning this up right along the line. So you can kind of see the pencil line is all in a line now. And I'm gonna put a rubber band right around there. Okay, then I just tied that with um, a rubber band. And now you can do a few more sections. Now this bottom section I'll probably do blue since it's already been dyed blue by Miss Lady Jane. So I'll do another rubber band right here. Here's the heart. Here's one section. This is our, gonna be our blue section. So I just have a cookie sheet and then a cookie thing. You use our cookie rack, pink, yellow, blue. And I think I've lost my helper, but that's okay. <laughs> They're doing elevator. Yes. We're using this tulip two minute tie dye, which would be cool. But first I have to shake this up. Oh. It's already ready to go, you just add water. Now pink just there, and then I'll flip it over and we'll do the other side. So purple we'll do in the middle. Let's go crazy. Looks good, and last one. Yes, we'll finish off with Layla started with the blue. Can I? Oh, those look good. There you go. There we go. Good job. Good job. Okay. I've never done this before, but apparently you put this in the microwave. For how long? Two and a half minutes. There we go, let's see if this works. It just stopped in the microwave, but I'm supposed to let it sit for 15 minutes. Now I did read that the lid was supposed to be, you're supposed to hear it snap when it closes. I didn't hear that, so I don't know if this is gonna turn out if I made a mistake. I don't want them to hear though, so we'll just hope for the best right now. <laughs> Taking a quick lunch break, and while we're waiting for this to finish, it actually now has to set for 15 minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and get our last tie-dye project prepped. And that is one where we are dyeing a shirt using ice cubes. Yeah, you heard that right. I've never tried this before, so it'll be a first time for me and we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna do one of Layla Jane's little shirts because some dye accidentally got on it when we were doing the other one, so I might as well use that. I've already pre-soaked it, so it's pretty wet. And then I'm just going to take my same setup I had earlier and put it on here and just kind of scrunch it up a little bit. Now this is a really small shirt, it's only a 3T. It should work. And here's my ice. I'm just gonna go and set ice all around it. I've seen some people use crushed ice, but this is all we have. Then you're just gonna drizzle the dye all over it, and it just kind of, the dye goes wherever the ice melts. And it's supposed to have a cool like watercolor almost effect to it. Now you take just a little bit of dye. You don't need rubber bands or anything. You just kind of start putting it in whatever design you want. Now we just gotta let the ice melt and hopefully it'll kind of all spread out and be pretty cool when it's done. This one unfortunately does take seven to eight hours or you could let it just drain overnight. Um, so if you wanna see the end result of this one, you're gonna have to check our Instagram because I will have a picture up there showing what this turned out as. So hopefully it looks really cute and you guys like it. Give it a big thumbs up if you like it on our Instagram. So if you aren't already following us, go to Hey Mamas 18 I'll also put it on our I'm other Instagram for our new channel, Tic Tac Toy Cousins. So go follow both of those on Instagram. Just in time, it's been 15 minutes. So I take this out and then I'm supposed to open it and leave it for, ooh, that was kinda cool, and leave it for two minutes now to cool. I'm examining this. You're supposed to then wash it when it's done. 
Um, it looks like though some of the blue bled into the pink where the heart was, so I'm kind of curious how this is gonna look. Hopefully it looks okay. The blue bled a little bit into the heart. But look, for the most part, you can totally tell that's a heart in there. Yeah. Hey, for our first time, girl, I think we did awesome. Yes. Yay! I'm so excited how that turned out. And again, I made a little mistake. I guess I didn't do the rubber band tight enough or something. But for our first time, I think that turned out pretty awesome. And the microwavable tie-dye kit, I just picked that up at Michael's, but I'll put a link in the description below. It worked out great, and it's so much faster. So now, let's go check on our ice cube one. Oh, it's kind of melting a little bit, but definitely needs to set for a long time. And you can see I have it, so it's gonna catch because all that water's gonna melt. So you wanna have something for it to catch. Oh, and I hear trouble coming. Ah, oh, here comes Mojo! Ah! <laughs> uh -oh, here comes Mojo, it's trouble. Well, it's a good thing we just finished all of our tie-dye because we were not getting anything done with this little dog here now. <laughs> Thanks everyone for watching. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram to see our finished projects. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone.